Hello, I am Mark Newman, Executive Vice President for Health Affairs at the University of Kentucky. I'm pleased to send greetings from me and the healthcare team at UK Healthcare to everyone attending this year's SOAR Summit. I regret that I'm not able to be with you in person this year. Despite the COVID pandemic and its recent surge in Kentucky, we still have some progress to share that demonstrates our commitment to the people of Eastern Kentucky. The pandemic has required so much of us, but it has also presented so many great opportunities for all of us to be creative and to work together. For UK Healthcare, it supercharged our efforts to roll out telehealth, an alternative to making a one to four hour drive to Lexington to see a specialist. What we had planned to do in months, we literally stood up in days last spring. During the beginning of the pandemic, when clinics were highly restricted, we moved from seeing a few hundred patients per month via telehealth to more than 22,000 patients last April. This summer, UK outpatient clinics conducted 7,000 to 8,000 telehealth visits per month, with that number increasing as COVID became more prevalent again. These virtual clinic visits continue to be a great option for those living throughout Eastern Kentucky, patients with mobility challenges and those taking extra precautions for social distancing. Second, like many employees, in the initial stages of the pandemic, we encouraged as many people as possible to work from home. Early on, we discovered that the productivity of many teams was not harmed and in many ways improved by the ability to work remotely. While many of our teams have returned to the office, we still have many working remotely in jobs that will now remain remote. Obviously, for areas where the teams do not need to be on site, this opens up very competitive positions to new employment markets. Currently, we have more than 300 people working remotely for UK Healthcare from throughout Eastern Kentucky. And finally, I can report that in the past year, our commitment to serving the Commonwealth through outreach and relationships with other providers has continued and grown. In meeting the crisis of our time, it has become more urgent than ever that we work together to better balance patient volumes and resources. We have ongoing relationships through outreach, affiliate networks and partnerships with almost every hospital and in many of our community health centers across the eastern part of the state. As you would expect during a crisis, we have seen hospitals, health centers, and physician groups that often compete now work together to best serve the patients who need us. ARH, Pikeville, Primary Care Centers of Kentucky, and Mountain Comp, and all of our friends. In July, we celebrated our joint venture with King's Daughter Health System that has created new opportunities for both systems to better serve patients throughout Kentucky, Southern Ohio, and West Virginia by expanding the delivery of specialty healthcare services throughout the region. Literally, this means more access to advanced high acuity care, such as solid organ and bone marrow transplantation, improved access to advanced cancer treatment and cancer clinical trials, unavailable anywhere else, new venues for training the next generation of Kentucky doctors, improved financial stability and capital investments. I could go on and on. Our strategies through 2025 place new emphasis on population health and making an impact to the far reaches of the Commonwealth. Our vision to be one community committed to creating a healthier Kentucky pairs nicely with SOAR's commitment. We are in great company. I look forward to the synergies that will be discovered as we continue to work more closely together to improve the lives of Kentuckians. Have a great summit, and I hope to see each of you in person next year.